When selecting a buffer, the pKa of the buffer should be as close as possible to the desired pH of the solution. So this particular question says we want to make a buffer solution with a pH of 10.07. And we're given three possible uh, choices for bases and their conjugate acid salts. So we're told that we have ammonia as an option, C6H5NH2 as an option, and N2H4 as an option, and we're given the Kb values. So what we're going to need to do is take Kb and calculate Ka, take the negative log of Ka and that'll give us the pKa, and the one whose pKa is closest to the pH of the desired solution is our choice. So the Ka for ammonia, ammonium ion, would be 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by the Kb for ammonia. And that's going to give us 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. If we take the negative log of that value, that'll give us the pKa. So the pKa for ammonium is 9.28. If we do the same thing to C6H5NH3+, we can calculate the pKa. So we're going to take the Kw divided by the Kb value, and we get 2.4 times 10 to the minus 5. If we take the negative log of that value, we get 4.62. And if we take our last option and calculate the Ka for N2H5+, we take the Kw, divide it by the Kb value, and we get 1.0 times 10 to the minus 8. And if we take the negative log of that value, we get 7.98. Now, if we compare those, we want to make a buffered solution with a pH of 10.07. Again, the pKa of the buffer should be as close as possible to the desired pH of the solution. So our options are 9.28, 4.62, and 7.98. And when we look at those, we see that the pKa value for ammonia is the closest to the desired pH, so ammonia would be our best choice. We would also need to consider, though, how the ammonia might affect the particular project that we're working on.